Coming up in today's video, what if I just kind of select this whole top area and say um, simply fire? Would that work? I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh. And then right here, let's put a giant... A giant um, shark, I guess. Uh -huh. Bro, what the hell is that? <laughs> AI art has been pretty easy to stay away from for me up until now, now that it's actually inside Photoshop. Is it AI art though, or simply a tool to make things easier? Better? Let's first take this moment to laugh about my face being sunburned so we have that over with. <laughs> now, first of all, to give you some basic examples, obviously um, this photo right here, say I want to remove these guys all together. I simply go around this entire edge and kind of roughly select these two guys with all this stuff right here. And then simply go to generative fill. I don't even have to put anything in here. I can just click generate and now it will generate um, the background. First, I want to show you guys some basic stuff it can do, the stuff you've seen online all over the place. And then we're going to challenge it, kind of see how far you can take it. Because honestly, most stuff you see online is kind of basic. Here, look at this. This is ridiculous. It just came up with all this junk. It even realized that this is blurred. Honestly, it's crazy. What the hell is this, however? Let's see what else he came up with. We have this. Ooh, that's even better. Very nice. Let's see. Oh, that's not, that's not so great. It even recognizes that this point is a bit closer to the camera and so is less blurred. That is... That's crazy. But this stuff we all know. We are kind of used to it at this point. What it's also very good at is extending images. And then just add that information on the sides. Click generate and now it will start calculating once again. And there you go. See this is... It's honestly... I don't even know what to think of it. It is absolutely ridiculous. However, if you zoom in you can tell the quality isn't great. But I feel like this is something they will improve over time. Uh, obviously when it gets better, it will look a lot sharper, a lot cleaner, but it's just wild overall. I mean, come on, look at this. However, once again, this is relatively basic stuff. We know this exists by now. What else can this do? Say right here, I want to have a raccoon just kind of sitting there. Let's type in raccoon. And I'm actually quite curious what this is going to do. Oh, interesting. Doesn't actually look too bad. Let's see what else. We've got this. And that. It looks a bit strange. It doesn't look real. You can tell it's fake, but it's pretty decent. However, say I want to have this hut being lit on fire. What if I just kind of select this whole top area and say um, simply fire? Would that work? I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh. Okay, it just kind of put an entire roof on it, <laughs> I guess. What? Ooh, look at that. That's interesting. This is not fantastic. Not gonna lie. What if I just select the roof and then do fire? See what that does. It does absolutely nothing. Literally just roofs. Interesting. Interesting. What is gonna work is just removing the whole thing altogether. I guess that will always kind of look good. We already learned it's pretty good at that. There you go. Look at that. That is just... Wow. And the second one, let's see. Oh, that's even better. Oh my god, that is just wild. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> Once again, a little bit blurry, but um, overall that looks so good. I'm curious what's gonna happen to this. Say I just wanna add a bunch more stuff down here. Is it just gonna generate completely new items? I guess we'll see. Oh my, what? Dude, it just came up with a completely new dish. It did kind of steal the color of this bowl from that one there is more though let's see what else is there yeah so there's a clean one obviously and another one but actually this first one is fantastic and then say right here i want to have some extra bread or something dude that's insane you have different ones as well oh i love that Ooh, and then right here we're gonna have some cutlery yes dude this is just insane what the hell is that what what the hell is this? <laughs> it looks realistic, but what the hell is that? This looks kind of nice. It's not at all what I meant. Okay, what if I just draw like a thing here and just say like knife? I suppose the difficult thing is making... What the heck? Removed because they violate user guidelines. Really? We just found the first flaw. Let's try fork then instead. Yeah, so that it did actually do... This one is fine. Honestly, what's going to happen if I extend this even further? Now I'm curious. I feel like you can just endlessly extend this to a point where 
you know, it just <laughs> keeps going. And that's actually a bit boring. Oh, well. I am very curious how this handles lighting. Of course, that's something very important that has to look accurate. So let's see. Say right here, I want to have um, a group of people having a picnic. Now, I'm pretty sure people is a thing. It can't properly generate humans for some reason. That's just a thing with AI. But I guess we'll see what it does. This image is mostly interesting because it's a very clear light from the left, which is interesting. Let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is rough. Okay, so the, the alien faces aside, if you zoom out, it does look... Right. The lighting comes from the exact right direction. There's no arguing that. Uh, the faces are just really, really freaking terrifying. And none of this actually makes sense. If you zoom out, it's fine. But if you zoom in, I mean, what am I even looking at right now? <laughs> Let's see what else. There is this, which is maybe even better, but still the same thing. <laughs> what the hell is that even? <laughs> and then the third one is, is this? Wh what? What if I just do this and say... Um, maybe like human face. I'm really curious actually. What's it gonna do now? Because if it actually... Bro, what? Okay, so this is definitely a face. Okay, so there's this. There's a... Oh, yikes. Well, that is horrendous. This is also quite terrible. Honestly, this first one is the best, but it's very dark, so obviously it's hard to see. Interesting though, because it can do faces apparently. Why doesn't it do it right instantly okay now this is definitely it has it has some flaws what if i do this again and say human face because these other two had terrible lighting like what this makes no sense these are just ran oh well that's creepy <laughs> that is not so great that is quite bad what if right here i'm just gonna build a giant bridge old wooden bridge this is probably gonna change the entire thing oh wow what Okay, so the lighting matches perfectly. However, what the actual... It's, again, it's so blurry. Like, this is to a point where you can't use this anywhere because it's just too rough. The overall thing is very good. The angle kind of matches as well. Let's see what else. Ooh, interesting. Wow. What you also see a bunch of people do is putting castles in images. That looks a bit whack, actually. But uh, well, that's kind of nice. Then for this one, for example, let's extend this all the way up here and then fill up the entire top area. And then right here, let's put a giant, a giant um, shark, I guess. <laughs> Bro, what the hell is that? <laughs> Yo, that is the most interesting shark I've ever seen. Look, that's better. That's better. The lighting kind of matches with the, the light bouncing off of the reef onto the bottom of him i am very confused right now so this is great this is laughable but this is just a completely new species like what okay let's try this again let's let's make a bit of a more of a like an actual shark shape maybe that helps kind of like like that if we do that great white shark that is also quite mediocre. So it really sticks to the shape you draw, I notice, because these are all identical, basically, to the shape that I made. So that's not actually fantastic. What if I do a small one right here? Shark in the distance. See, that is very good. That's fantastic. Yeah, these are great, actually. Most of all this. I like that. That looks real, pretty much. But this big one, that... No, that's not... <laughs> That's not gonna work. Now say we have this image and I want to extend to the sky once again and maybe add some stars or something. So we have this, which is very basic. We have this one, which is also basic. And then now let's put some stars in here. Very simple, shouldn't be too hard. What? Uh... What? Realistic starry sky? I feel like that's so obvious. There you go. That's pretty terrible, but at least it's kind of what I meant. This isn't too bad. That's kind of what I meant. Yeah, it's it's very, very blurry, but it's kind of okay. 
And what? This is awful. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That is not what I expected at all. Not so great. I mean, this, I guess, is okay. But it's not what I meant. I, I just meant very subtle, subtle stars. Interesting results. So far, we've all done pretty basic stuff. Things that really exist. But what if we start going towards the side of mythical creatures and things that don't exist, like... A dinosaur. I mean, obviously they did exist, but they don't exist now. So how is it going to handle this? Let's say right here, I want to put a little dinosaur. That looks like a toy dinosaur. That's horrendous. Um, no, no, thank you. Once again, this looks like a toy. So does this. And this is not even... What? Okay, let's let's try putting one right here. This is what I expected though. It does need a bunch of reference material and this is actually not bad. I mean, it still looks like one of these built dinosaurs you see in theme parks. So does this. To be fair, it probably has those as reference because obviously real dinosaurs don't exist right now. Yikes. Not great. What if you make a giant one right here and say um, T-Rex. So we can be a little bit more specific. That is a ginormous T-Rex. Once again, does look like one of these fake ones that they build in theme parks. Let's see what else. Why does it have three arms? That's weird. And the same kind of thing. No, this is not great. This is not it. Things that don't exist are difficult to create, I guess. What if we try making a robot instead? Which technically does exist, but like the typical actual movie robots, what's it gonna do for this? That is interesting. This actually does look like a robot. What else? Okay, they're not great, but they are original looking robots at least. That's something interesting. Then another thing. What if, say, I want to generate Darth Vader, who is part of Star Wars, which is an IP. What's it going to do then? This actually, so far, I'm the most curious about because honestly, <laughs> I can imagine it having some reference material because obviously Darth Vader is a big thing. But is it? I don't think it's going to do it because it's part of an IP. It's probably programmed not to generate stuff like that. Let us be amazed by this result. Huh. <laughs> Once again, a quite demonic face, but it is a dark figure, <laughs> right? Third one. Okay, so they do have all black capes and robes and clothing, but it did exactly what I expected. Th they can't do Darth Vader because he's part of an IP. Let's try Superman. <laughs> I said Superman. This is... Oh, yikes. Oi, 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 oi. Hmm, no, no, these are, these are horrendous. But once again, it does realize that they are super people. They are superheroes. This is maybe not so much a flaw, but a limitation that this has. Say you want to create fan art of any IP ever, you can't use AI because it won't allow you to generate those existing things. I'm just kind of having fun with this, trying some stuff out because... I'm very new to this as well. Besides, I think it's just kind of fun to see. It is, every time you load this up, it's like, what's it gonna do? It's like, it's gonna be surprised. And that, I think, is the most fun thing about it. But at the same time, it's scary as hell. Ooh, that is good. That is very good. And then up here, let's make a um, futuristic city. Just kind of make a few selections like this. And then do futuristic city. This, I'm curious about as well. This is far more generic. So I think... Oh. That's kind of a pathetic city there. Why is it so small? What? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad. Well, it kind of does. But let's let's do a very large shape then instead. Wow. What? That looks very fake, but it is an interesting result for sure. What else? Oh, that looks like a vending machine. Ooh. Ooh. Now this... This is better. It looks like it's much closer to the camera than it should be. I like this. Let's actually go and try some more. Dude, it does, it does understand. Wow. It really does understand the futuristic idea. This looks fantastic. It doesn't look real. It doesn't look realistic because for some reason it just doesn't really see the depth, like the, the haze. It's a bit too clear, right? But that is, that is awesome nonetheless. Interesting, interesting. So it does actually do this. Now here's something else I thought about. What if I just take one of my own self-made artwork and extend that? That seems interesting. I'm just gonna see what it does to this. Not fantastic, but it's it's something. This side is a bit strange. Are these rocks or what's that? Very, very blurry, but this is good. This is okay. What about the third? Oh, 
<laughs> oh, yikes. That's very glowy. That's that's weird. Oh, this second one was actually good. This is fine. This is nice. Instant wallpaper right there. Dude, what if I try this one? Dude, this has mad potential. What the hell is this? I don't know what it is, but it looks... It looks very good, as if it's like a very old barrel that's been stuffed away for like 10 years. This, however, what's this? I don't know what that is. It kind of recreated the lantern I made here, except worse. Much, much worse. What if I just grab this, select it, and just extend it? Because there's no way it's gonna notice that these are Star Wars characters. That's just not possible, because we learned it doesn't do that stuff. What is it gonna do? Is it just gonna replace random characters, random sort of figures? Hurry up! What the hell? Yeah, I mean, it, it creates just a bunch of obscure... So these are definitely not humans. It did notice that half of these are not humans. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Wow, this is so interesting, actually. That's cool. Bunch of flying stuff. It sees the flying stuff. Look how wide that is. That is... <laughs> That's crazy. And then finally, this one. I feel like this has potential as well. What if we just extend this? It's just interesting that it does... Even though all of this is fake, I made this myself. It still recognizes that this is a landscape. And it still recognizes that these are trees and stuff like that. This is not bad at all. It's blurry. Very blurry. It can also royally mess it up. Because this is absolutely terrible oh wow that is good this is fantastic this is really good <gasps> wow oh that is good wow <laughs> is all i can say wow actually i'm gonna save this even though it's a bit blurry that looks really interesting i like that a lot for some reason it kind of like flows into the lava that is so cool uh, it's oh it's so cool but at the same time i hate it because this shouldn't be possible, but it is. Uh, and I want to use it, but I, I don't want to use it. Difficult. What I am assuming, though, if, say, I want to put a gun here, I bet it's going to say that's against the guidelines because it's a gun. Violate user guidelines. See? And that's the thing. You will always be limited in software like this to certain things. You can't make whatever you want. Not with Photoshop, at least. I still have mixed feelings about the whole thing. It is kind of scary, but also cool. However, after playing around with it for a little bit, I can only see it as a tool rather than a replacement. It is mostly used to add stuff to already existing content, so it's not really as if you're gonna, you know, generate complete images and get away with it. That's not how this works. It adds to your existing photos and designs, and I think that's a convenience. I'm okay with this, and I can't believe I'm saying that, but... I'm okay with this. If you liked this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single future upload, and then I hope I'll see you in the next video.